Ois, this is Exvis, and my grandfather has passed away. So, to be honest, I wanted to make this a few hours earlier when I actually learned about it, and, well, I'm just going to say there's reasons I really didn't want to do it, and, I mean, at the specific time, but, uh, basically, he's passed away, and, um... I've had a lot of pets that pass away, and it, it it leaves an empty sort of surreal feel usually, and it's it's no different with family apparently. And since I was a little kid, at least this is my first um the first person who is that close to me. I mean, to be honest, I've never really been that close to my family, and I want to say I don't know if I will, but. Oh, who am I kidding? I probably will be when, with whoever I marry and my kids. Um, I think anyway. Uh, I don't know. Um, probably. Uh, anyway, case in point, I wasn't really that close to any of my family. But when I was a little kid, once again, um, that was when I lost my only other somewhat close to me, and that was about uh. I don't know, uh, 15 years ago, uh, I was probably like five or something. I, I was old enough to remember, to say the least, and I remember him while he was alive, and I couldn't tell you how long he was as far as I can remember, because I was a little kid, and especially as the years pass, the years blur together, and yeah, it's really hard to say. Um, to be honest, I felt like a year or two, though, but whatever. Um, this video is about, not about him, though, um, this is about my mother's father. My other grandfather, who, up until well, yesterday, technically, I think it's the same time zone in Florida. Um, anyway, um, up until yesterday, I had only one grandfather, and now I have none. Apparently, <laughs> to be honest, I kind of imagine this having been more emotional, though. I reckon it's still pretty emotional compared to what I normally, what normal, what. What sh complete schlock I normally put out there. <laughs> this is probably the most serious you'll see me in, or I guess hear me, in a long time. And hopefully that will be true. So, yeah. Anyway, um, more about him, I guess. Um, he, I, I don't, I don't really know too much about him. I think he was in one of the wars, uh, I think it was World War One, World War, World War Two, uh, World War Two. yeah, he's only 88. <laughs> Only 88. Uh, uh, only? <laughs> that's seriously. Um, he, he was 88, so I think it was World War II. Um, I, I don't know much about his experience from the war, but um, I do know that he grew up poor and uh, on a farm, and apparently they ate a lot of chicken, and that caused him to really hate chicken, and... Uh, basically, by the time he had kids, he, he wouldn't eat chicken, and because of that, my mom likes chicken, and I am hating chicken. Because <laughs> that's, like, all she has. Um, anyway, he basically had to go to the hospital right before they were to leave to Michigan to, to my home, or, not literally my home, but the, you know what I mean, to, um, our home state, and his abdominal area of... I'm not sure what specific area. I'm um, starting to hurt and like really badly apparently. And they had to rush him to the hospital and cancel the flight. And well, basically he went to uh, intensive care. Yeah, intensive care. Um, and they scanned him and they thought they saw a tumor. Uh, perhaps fortunately it wasn't quite that bad, but it was by no means by no and by no stretch good. And that would have been. A blood clot in his liver. So anyway, um, that was actually two days ago now on the twenty seventh, I believe. Yeah, um, that's the twenty. I think, or is it? I I don't know. It, it wasn't that long ago. It feels like it's been long, to be honest, and also it really doesn't. Um, I could look on Facebook and check up my information, but I think I think this <laughs> I think this is enough. Um. Anyway, um, they apparently got that taken care of, and, uh, it, for the most part, he improved, and it started hurt again, and not long after, he, um, uh, I think it was some of his family, I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure who, relation-wise, uh, might have even been a friend, 
But anyway, um, they asked him if he could hold on a little longer, and he was like, no, I don't really want to. I'm ready. And then he passed away. I think I learned right at the moment and from my dad. And yeah, um, uh, I think that's about it that I feel like I need to get out. Um, did I mention he's good at cooking? Or was, I guess. Um, well, yeah, he made really good baked beans and uh, Portuguese meatballs. Look them up. They're, wait, no, Hungarian meatballs. I mean, uh, or is it Portuguese? <laughs> oh, one second. Hungarian uh, uh, porcupine meatballs. Yes. Yeah, Hungarian. <laughs> um, anyway, um, Hungarian meatballs and good baked beans. And to be honest, I would like to have the ingredients and make them for my kids and wife and girlfriend and friends and yada 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 really um yeah to say the least i kind of like cooking for people <laughs> i haven't done many times but still um all right uh anyway i think that is everything i feel i need to get out yeah um with that i'll finish saying <laughs>